Hey guys, Keith here. Uh, just a quick one. I, I wanted to touch on something that uh, has changed in 2020.14 or a new feature which is available. Uh, we all know that uh, people are just going nuts with matrix sizes. This year we've seen an explosion in the size of P5 panels, the number of P5 panels that people will put on the display, and also the number of people that are starting to use uh, virtual matrices uh, which have got very very large resolutions and consequently render times and we've been looking at ways uh, throughout the year to try and keep the render times in check and I'd fair to say uh, that we're probably not uh, as successful as we'd like to be. Uh, the the uh, performance is still pretty slow uh, if you start to get a lot of channels and a lot of effects. But there's a couple of things that have appeared over the last year or so that have helped. Uh, there's been a number of sort of under the covers uh, performance improvements to try and limit the, uh, the amount of blockages that occur. Uh, you do have down in the bottom left here, this suspend render, which disables all rendering while you sequence. Uh, the disadvantage of that, of course, is that you can't see what you're doing while you sequence, uh, which can, if, if you know the effects really well, you can probably get away with it. But if you don't know the effects very well, it, it can be like, you know, uh, doing something in the dark where you just can't see what you're doing. It's, it's very difficult. So in 2020 41, I've added something and there's a couple of little quirks with it yet that I need to work through, which may help. So, so here we have two effects. We have a, a bars effect and a butterfly effect. And of course, you can't see any of the bars effect because the butterfly effect totally overwrites the bars. There's now the opportunity here to uh, right click on an effect, or you could select multiple effects and do this as well, and disable the render on an individual effect basis. Or if you'd right clicked over here, you could say uh, rows, select all effects. And if you had lots of effects, it would select them. Then you could come here and you can disable the render. Now, when you disable the render, notice nothing changed. And that's because the data has already been rendered. And so everything is still as it was. Uh, however, if I now click on this bars effect, the butterfly goes away and the bars now uh, becomes visible. And the reason it becomes visible is because the butterfly is still trying to render, but because it's been disabled, it doesn't actually do anything. And so consequently, the bars effect comes through and you see the bars effect. Now, how do you know that it's disabled? Well, technically, this is meant to be a slightly different color. I'm not entirely convinced that that's working. It's probably a bug and I'll fix it in 42 or thereabouts. Uh, but you can also see down in the bottom right hand here, if you watch here when I mouse over the effect, you can see in capitals disabled. And that tells you that that effect is disabled, whereas the bars effect here isn't disabled. Uh, it's also true, true that if you come up and run a tools check sequence down the bottom here uh, it will give you this warning the sequence has one or more effects which are disabled these are being ignored and that's there to try and uh, remind you that this is what's going on now of course I'm sure we're going to get lots of people who forget that they've done this and it doesn't render correctly but in the interests of giving people that have large matrices, which maybe you finish the sequencing the matrix, you don't need to see it updated all the time. And so you might want to come in here and go to the model, select all the effects, disable them, and then you can start working on your other props, your archers, your stars, or your snowflakes or something. Uh, and when you click render, the render will run really quickly because there is nothing to actually render on the matrix because all of that stuff's been disabled. And then you can go back and re-enable it and render it all later on. Now, uh, unlike the dis suspend render, uh, the render all will respect the disabling. So even if I come up here and do a render all uh, and I press play, uh, the bars effect is still there. It hasn't ignored the suspension and redone the the butterfly so it will continue to be respected with suspend render a render all actually ignores the suspend render and still renders um, and that's because that's a global setting 
to bring it back, of course, you just uh, click on the effect, right click and enable the render. Notice how nothing has happened. It's still showing the bars, but if I click on it again, it will trigger the rendering of the butterfly and the butterfly comes back. So I'm hoping that for those of you that are sequencing either some really big elements that you want to disable to speed up your rendering and hopefully speed, speed up your sequencing, I hope that helps. Thanks guys.